Arduinos are great fun to program, but what do you do with them once you've finished with Blink? Well, here's something that I made up in uh, a short space of time. It's, uh, it's, it's in a JCAR prototyping shield. We come around and have a look in the back. There's an Arduino Uno at the bottom there. I made up a simple VeraBoard shield just to mount a 5 volt regulator. And this Ublox 6M, Neo 6M GPS unit, just sitting up there, just come around here, it's just sitting up there on, uh, on a 0.1 inch header, just plugged in with its four pins, and its little, its little antenna is just balancing off the back. That needs physical support, I'll get around to that. Power supply is a 12 volt LifePo battery, just uh, just with a little um, 7812 three pin regulator, heat sinked to keep the voltage steady at 12 volts. It's a little bit higher than that when it comes off the battery. Let's turn it on. So it's gonna take a while to receive its first uh, GPS signals or NME, which come out of the out of the U blocks as uh, NMEA strings, and uh, as soon as it does, hopefully. Now this is the UTC time or GMT time uh, that I'm reading out of one of the headers, one of the message headers, and I'm just adding uh, an Eastern Australian Standard Time offset to it. So now we're waiting for the GPS module to find enough satellites to find a GPS location. I'm under a steel deck roof here, so um, it's not so quick. It's not as quick as it would be if we were outside. So of course the great thing about a GPS clock is that you never have to set it. All you do is put 12 volts on the unit and it's going to find the correct time. Um, it's off the GPS satellite network. Okay, so we're now starting to see the number of satellites come into view, five, now nine. And there is some more information coming up in the bottom line. I'll explain that once we get a fix. Oh no, it's dropped off. I'm gonna to have to move this so that I can get a clearer view of the sky, obviously. Okay, I've had to take this right outside to get a clear view of the sky. Once you've got the longitude and latitude, you can pass that information through to some algorithms. The first one on the bottom row is um, grid square. Then I'm displaying speed and altitude. You can also calculate distances. And so this is the distance to a suburb Blackburn, 13.7 kilometres away. Uh, you can calculate distances um, and my son's school. You can calculate distances uh, with the Haversine algorithm, uh, distance between two latitude and longitude pairs. So the coordinates, the centre of Melbourne, 20.9 kilometres away, that's the, that's the post office, distance to the post office. Um, the coordinates for these points of interest are just hard-coded in the script. Sydney 692.5 kilometres away. And one more just to test out the algorithm and make sure it was making sense. London 16,900 kilometres away. So uh, there it is. A nice little project and one that can be built up in a couple of hours with, um, uh, with no particular... Um, no particularly um, demanding tools or techniques and uh, gives you a great demonstration of um, Arduino and GPS. More details at vk3hn.wordpress.com